What's going on, everybody? David Delano with Gift Sports Strong. Going to tackle uh, free Major League Baseball picks here for Wednesday, May 29th, 2019. Um, I had some other picks today and some other videos. Early game between the Reds and Pirates, along with a uh, game between the Tigers and Orioles and the Cardinals and Phillies. So you can go ahead and check those videos out if you'd like. Um, and here we're going to just get right into it. Um, like I said, no additional uh, paid picks today. Although I do have a pick out for the uh, NBA Finals, but um, let's just get to the Major League Baseball picks here. First game on this video, don't want to get too deep into it. It's going to be the Tampa Bay Rays against the Toronto Blue Jays. Trent Thornton, one fourth, a 4.42 earned run average, going against uh, Blake Snell, who's 3 and 4 with a 3.07 earned run average. Uh, Blake Snell starting to. Turned things around. He started to look like he wasn't the same pitcher. But lately, these last uh, three starts for Schnell, he has a 1.96 earned run average. And the pick here is going to be the Tampa Bay Rays on the run line. Tampa Bay really seems to have Toronto's number. Toronto did beat Tampa Bay once this year when Schnell pitched 3-1. But in that game, Schnell went six innings. He only gave up one hit and no runs at all. And still, Tampa Bay lost that game. This time around, I do think that Tampa Bay gets it done on the run line. Thornton has faced Toronto. Sorry, he pitches for Toronto. He faced Tampa Bay once this year. Uh, Tampa Bay hitters were 8 for 17 against them with three home runs. I like Tampa Bay to get it done on the uh, run line here. Um, second pick that I'm going to go ahead and tackle in this video. Well, this is going to be a half a pick. Um, looking at the game between the Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals. Washington got the win 5-4 in a game that we dropped on uh, Tuesday. I plan on coming back with the Braves. You've got Anibal Sanchez for the Washington Nationals. 0-6 with a 5.10 earned run average. Against Kevin Galsman, who's 2-3 and three with a 4.33 earned run average. Look, I don't really love the pitching matchup on either side of this. But Atlanta Braves coming off of the win. Washington, worst team I've talked about. Worst team in all of baseball to bet on this year. That means if you bet on every team, the same amount, every game, every day, Washington will lost you more money than any other team. Their bullpen has a 7.12 um, earned run average. Terrible bullpen. I like the Atlanta Braves here. The number's not out. I'm thinking some, the total will be somewhere around 9. But I like the Atlanta Braves. If this line is... If I could get minus $1.35 or better, I'm definitely all over the Atlanta Braves. Not saying that I won't take them at a higher price. It's just going to depend. But uh, I do like the Atlanta Braves to get it done against the Washington Nationals. Uh, final pick here. Arizona Diamondbacks against the Colorado Rockies. Uh, I really like these two teams, just as a fan, uh, as far as how they... They're just... I don't know. Both of these teams, the way they play, is just exciting to me, even though their records are about average. Arizona 28-27. Colorado 26-27. and Now, if you look at this, Arizona's a minus-125 favorite. You've got Robbie Ray, 4-1, with a 3.26 earned run average. Going against Jeff Hoffman, who's 0-1 with an 8.10 earned run average. Now, you gotta when you look at that initially, you're thinking this is a great value to get the Arizona Diamondbacks. And they lost the first two games against the Rockies in this series, so it does look like a good spot for revenge for the Diamondbacks. Backs. But my favorite play here is going to be on the total, and here's why. Now, now Robbie Ray knows how to pitch in his career at uh, Coors Field. He's 2-1. Uh, with a 3.69 earned run average. Pretty good numbers there at Coors Field. Um, one thing that's a little startling, though, he does have a 1.64 whip, and the opponent's batting average against is 481. That is pretty high. In his career against the Rockies, uh, taking into account games that have also been played in Arizona, Robbie Ray overall... Against the Rockies, just 4-4 four and four with a 5.43 earned run average. So that's a pretty high earned run average there. On the other side, you've got Jeff Hoffman going for the Rockies. 
Um, in his career, 5.88 earned run average in 37 career games. And in his career against the Arizona Diamondbacks, he is 0-2 with a, a 10.38 earned run average um, in four career games. Opponents hitting 346 against him in those games. So I like the... I like the over here. Actually, over 11 runs. The over is uh, 17 and 4 in uh, Rockies games this month, with the first two games of the series actually going under the total. I think it's time for that to go back up. I do like the over here. Um, and I actually like a small. I do like a small play just with the revenge factor. Robbie Ray, he does have a lot of experience pitching against the against the Rockies at Coors Field, even though he has been touched for some runs. His last start, it was a 10-9 and game, but he only gave up one earned run. And then in his last start at Coors Field before that, only gave up two earned runs. So I do give the edge to Robbie Ray, even though I expect this to be a slugfest. I like the play on the over more, but I'm also going to make a small play on the Arizona Diamondbacks to get it done on the money line as a slight favorite there. So, picks on this video, Tampa Bay Rays on the run line, Arizona Diamondbacks on the money line, Arizona and Colorado to go over 11, and uh, probably taking the Atlanta Braves, but there's no line. Last thing, um, just to put it out there, because I'm sure I'm going to get the message. Yeah, that's cool that you put all those picks. I'm not playing all those games, David. Which game do you like the best? Um, honestly, I would say both the totals plays, the game between the Diamondbacks and Rockies over along with the total that I gave out um, for the first game between the Pirates and the Reds. I think the totals would be my favorite uh, plays followed by the uh, pick on the Phillies. Go ahead and check out the other videos if you like. God bless everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let's go ahead and get it on Wednesday, May 29th. Remember to always bet responsibly. God bless.